Hey guys, it's Mark with Music Greatness. In today's tutorial, we're going to be learning Amoeba by Claro. The introduction and first verse sound just like this. That was the introduction and the first verse. Let's now head into the breakdown. We're going to start by taking a look at our chords. We're in the key of B flat minor, and so our first chord is going to be an E flat minor 9 chord. That's octave E flats in the left hand, B flat, D flat, and F in the right hand. Our second chord is a B-flat minor over F chord. That's octave Fs in the left hand, B-flat, D-flat and F in the right hand. And finally, our third chord is a B-flat minor chord. That's B-flat and F in the left hand, B-flat, D-flat and F in the right hand. Alright, so just to quickly recap, we're going to start on E flat minor 9, then we're going to move up to B flat minor over F, and finally we finish on that normal B flat minor chord. Okay, let's start by breaking down the introduction. Our introduction starts with this phrase. And then we hear that idea again. So let's start by just breaking down the right hand. In this section, each note is going to be worth half a beat. So one and two and three and four and. And we're going to start with our thumb on a B flat and our second finger on E flat. And when we play each note, we're also going to vamp a B flat. So B flat and E, B flat and F, B flat and G flat, B flat and A flat. But we're going to flick. You just flick off of the G flat up to the A flat. So we go, but it's like that. Nice and simple. In the left hand, we start on our E flats. We're going to hold that for two and a half beats. Then you're going to play E flat again for one beat. And then for the last half a beat, you're going to shift up to F naturals. So it's going to be. And in context. One and two and three and four and. In our next bar, we're going to maintain those Fs and we're going to have a very similar structure in the right hand. So, so E flat, F, and G flat stay the same, but this time instead of going from G flat to A flat, we're stretching now. A flat to B flat and then you bring it back down to an A flat. The left hand is fairly simple. We're just going to keep it held from the previous bar and then as we play our A flat and B flat in the right hand we play another F. So Our third bar, slight change. We're now shifting to a B flat and an A flat in the left hand, 
D flat and A flat in the right hand. We're going to hold this just like this. And that's focusing on just the right hand there. The left hand has a small part here as well. Let's break that down. To start with, we have our B flat, A flat, D flat, and A flat. We're going to hold that for one beat, then on two, we stretch up. Again, we're going to keep our thumb on D flat here the whole time, but we're stretching up with our pinky to B flat. One, two, and back down to A flat. Three on G flat. And. See, that's an F there. At the same time as we play our E flat in the left hand. And that's on the and of three, like this. And then on beat four, you come back up to G flat in the right hand. And then on the and of four, we're dropping down to a D flat in the left hand. And instead, king with a D flat and an F in the right hand. Let's hear that again. And our final phrase, we hold, so we hold that for a full beat of the next bar. So we're going to go like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. So, using that rhythm, we're going to start on beat two of the next bar. We're going to go two and three and four. So not playing anything on beat three. Two and three and four. And that's octaves. Same note in the left and right hand. E flat, F, E flat, D flat. And that's your whole first phrase. The second half of the intro is almost identical. The first three bars are exactly the same. The only difference is now instead of going, we're actually going to go. So we're using only two notes, our C and B flat. We're going to play them in sync in both hands. We're going to use this rhythm that I'm going to highlight here. So, starting from the previous bar. This is AND of four. One, E, AND, A, two, E, AND, A, three, E, AND, A, four, E, AND, A. So that is much, much slower, but hopefully that helps you to see how that fits together. I'll play it one more time without the count, just a little bit slower. Okay, so this now takes us into the verse. We've finished the introduction. We just have two lines of verse left to do. The verse is going to make heavy use of our three chords that we learned at the beginning. We're going to start on our E flat minor 9 chord and we're going to vamp the right hand every single beat. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. The left hand is going to follow this pattern. So, one and two and three and four and shifting from E flat to F. One and two and three and four and one in the next bar. One and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and. One. Shifting now to our normal B flat minor chord. One and two and three and four and let's take a look at that and where this goes 
So this is going to be the end of our first verse phrase. It sounds like this. All right, we're using those same notes as we did in the first line of the intro. So using our E flat, F, E flat, D flat, and just applying that again at the end. Let me show you rhythmically how that fits together. So we're starting here in our B flat minor chord. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. That's the first line of the verse. There's one more line left to do. Our second line starts the exact same. And this time we switch to our our rotating C's and B flats. And we do that in the same rhythm as we did in the introduction. Sounds like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. And that's all there is to the introduction and verse. Let's hear it one more time at full speed. And that's all there is to the introduction and first verse of Amoeba. If you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to check out the rest on musicgreatness.com. I've been your Tim Mark, thank you.